In Africa, cassava is one of the people's main foods. Selling cassava allows farmers and processors to make a lot of money. But when cassava is sick, it does not produce very much and the farmer's benefit dwindles. This crop was planted three months before the other one, but it's smaller. Even if it stays one more year in the soil, it will not grow any bigger. A disease is preventing the crop from growing big tubes. And if cassava is not any bigger, it no longer makes money for us and we lose what we invested. So we must control and fully destroy the disease. A healthy cassava crop has leaves which are completely green. But on our fields we often see spots on cassava leaves which are light green or yellow. At times some of the leaves become deformed and small. This shows that the crop is suffering from the virus disease of cassava also called cassava mosaic virus disease. The sick plant does not produce a lot of cassava. The cassava mosaic virus disease is an important disease which causes low yields. It can be recognized on the cassava leaves which have spots ranging from light green to yellow. The disease is given to the plant by the white fly. The disease cannot be cured, but it can be avoided. To prevent the cassava mosaic virus disease, we must use cuttings which have not been attacked by the disease. Most of all, we must plant varieties which are resistant to the disease. If we observe these good practices, we will avoid the cassava mosaic virus disease and our plants will grow a lot of cassava. In this way, we will have more benefits. Thank <laughs> you.